I'm feeling a bit chilly. But also kind of chill and zen. Which is why today on Top 5 Friday, I'm going to tell you my top five incense-based fragrances. Let's do this. Welcome to Top 5 Friday on J Royal. My name is James, and of course every Friday we like to do a bit of a top five. If this happens to be your first time on this channel and you like fragrance, fitness, fun, advice, a cute guy, oh, then go ahead and subscribe. Incense is an interesting fragrance note. The concentrated oil from most incense-based fragrances normally come from frankincense, myrrh, things of that nature. A note that's almost exclusively suited for cold weather, I'm a big fan because I kind of like the weird stuff. And we got some weird stuff today. My number five incense-based fragrance, probably one of the most famous, Interlude Man by Amouage. This fragrance is known as the Blue Beast because it has a nice blue bottle, but it's quite the monster of a fragrance. It starts off with a very brash, smoky, spicy, dry quality, but the dry down like eight to 14 hours later, it's very pleasant. It's sweet, it's cuddly, and it goes through quite the evolution on your skin. When compared to the other fragrances on this list, this is the one that I don't really reach for as much. So that's why it's number five. The good thing about a powerhouse fragrance like this is you just use a lot less if you're in close quarters. Half a spray is okay. At number five, Interlude Man. My number four incense fragrance is, is a tie. Zafira by Zerjoff and Sahara Noir by Tom Ford. The reason that I group these two fragrances together is simple. They're both incense-based fragrances that are kind of barnyardy. <laughs> Sahara Noir specifically reminds me of my old, old Orthodox church that I used to go to, while Zafiro is a little more heavy on the incense rather than the barnyard, and it's a little more cozy, I feel. And although I'm well aware of the Comme des Garçons incense series, more specifically, Avignon, this is the one that reminded me of church most. That's because my church was real old. Basically a barn. A number four, Zafiro and Sahara Noir. My number three incense-based fragrance is Gucci Pour Homme. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, my bottle has seen better days. <laughs> it's a bit scuffed up. Gucci is a bit confusing because there's also Gucci by Gucci Pour Homme, but this is the original incense cedar fragrance that now has a flanker, Gucci Pour Homme De. The cool part of this fragrance is it does have a similar smell to pencil shavings. Whenever I wear this fragrance, it does bring me back to elementary school with that wind up pencil sharpener and you get all that graphite on your fingertips and all that. <laughs> it's a cool fragrance, but unfortunately it happens to be discontinued, but there's not many fragrances like this, especially in the designer market. You're a cool guy. At number three, Gucci Pour Homme. My number two incense based fragrance is is another tie. Memoir Man by Amouage and Fille en Aiguille by Serge Laton. Now these guys happen to be my favorite green incense fragrances. They both have incense as a main player, but they're supported by beautiful, beautiful green notes. Being an Amouage, Memoir Man will have more of the incense. It will be a bit smokier, especially in the opening. Well, Fi and Angui is really more so about that pine, the coniferous, wintry green quality supported by incense. I essentially call this the ultimate Christmas time fragrance because it literally makes you smell like a Christmas tree when you wear it. If you're a big fan of smoky green fragrances, then these ones are worth checking out. At number two, Memoir Man and Fi and Angui. And finally, my number one incense-based fragrance is... Bleu de Chanel, Eau de Parfum by Chanel. Is this a bit of a troll entry on this list? Yeah. Would most people think of this as an incense-based fragrance? 
No. Although we know Bleu de Chanel as one of the quintessential modern fresh fragrances, it does showcase the note of incense quite well. And if I think about all the fragrances in my collection that happen to have incense, this has to be the clear winner because I wear it the most, it gets me the best feedback, and it's so versatile. Bleu de Chanel, more specifically the EDP, just works for me in any occasion. Whether it's warm outside, whether it's cold outside, whether I'm indoors or outdoors, it really doesn't matter. And although this fragrance was pooped on when it first came out, in my mind, it's my favorite of the modern freshies. And I think it's because of that incense. That somewhat rich, smoky aspect of this fragrance is what sets it apart for me. It makes it more masculine and makes it a little bit more than just an Embroxin bomb. If you came here for a smoke bomb of a fragrance at number one, I'm sorry, but you're not gonna find it. This guy is technically my favorite incense-based fragrance. At number one, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. Incense is a pretty cool note, everyone, because it can be interpreted in a variety of different ways. And my number one is telling of that. It doesn't have to be a smoky, churchy, barnyard type of fragrance in order to utilize incense very well. What are some of your favorite fragrances that happen to utilize incense? How many times have I said the word incense in this darn video? Holy smokes! Get it? All of our links to the Facebook group, Snapchat, and Instagram are down below. And if you like what you see, then go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Catch you next time, peoples. Peace. I brought you frankincense. Thank you. And I brought you myrrh. Thank you. Murder. <gasps> Judas.